Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Hope we're having a great day and we're all doing well. Before we continue with this video, I do ask if you are new and do go on to enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like and consider subscribing. So what we're going to be talking about in this video is a potential new crossover coming in Year 7 Season 1. Now this is credit to Lungoon19. Of course, you've probably heard me talking about him a bunch over this past week. Very reliable leaker. But I guess I should say, take everything you see with a pinch of salt. Doesn't mean everything's 100% confirmed, but he has got a very accurate track record. And this is actually going to be a crossover with the video game series Yakuza. Now this is actually very fitting for this season and Siege in general, mainly because we've not had a new crossover in quite a long time. The most recent crossover, I believe, has been Resident Evil. Of course, we've been getting frequent Rick and Morty skins, but that started about over a year ago. I'm kind of talking about a new franchise, and I'm pretty sure the most recent one of that was Resident Evil. So we are in need of a new crossover franchise in this game. And it's very appropriate for this season since it is going to be set in Japan. And we did maybe think that Azami was going to be part of the Yakuza, or maybe, you know, undercover. We've actually learned from leaks that that's not the case, she's actually just a very decorated private bodyguard who was ex-police, but that is not going to stop us from getting a crossover with the Yakuza games. Now what we know so far is that there are two charms. I'm going to assume that there are going to be skins as well, potentially elite skins. We could maybe get a really cool Echo Elite skin, and potentially skins for some other operators. I'm just theorizing here, I think Echo would be a good fit, obviously because he is Japanese. But there might not be any skins at all. If there is, it might not be an elite skin. We do not know this much yet. But what Longu has actually found is two charms in the game. One of them of Kazuma and the other of Goro. Now, I think these charms look a bit weird. I actually might have a feeling that maybe they're placeholders. They might become 3D chibis because they look a bit too 2D and they do look a bit rough around the edges. So these might be quite early looks at them and they might be making a 3D model of them. And this is just a 2D placeholder or this could be fake, Longu might just be pulling our legs here. Probably not, he is quite a reliable source, but just keep that in the back of your mind that none of this is 100% confirmed, but it is probably quite likely. It fits very well for this season. Sega are usually really fine with just giving their IPs out and, you know, allowing people to use it in games. And of course, we are in need of a new crossover anyway. And also, actually, I actually want to take this time to say that I actually kind of missed something at the beginning of this video. Longo did say on January 12th that the next battle pass, so for this season, is going to include a Yakuza set for Echo. And I kind of just brushed over that in my mind, but I remembered it there, because I always just thought it was just going to be like a generic Yakuza set. But maybe they're actually going to have the video game crossover Yakuza set for Echo in a battle pass. It's quite interesting if they do do that. I wouldn't think they would. I think they'd maybe keep like the third party crossover skin separate so they can make more money out of it. So just keep that in the back of your mind as well. It's just something very interesting to think about. Also, I have never played a Yakuza game, so I might be getting these characters wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is Kazuma and Goro. But if you have played these games and I'm completely wrong, just let me know in the comments. But yeah, how cool is that going to be if this is real and we actually are going to be getting a Yakuza crossover in Rainbow Six Siege? I've never even played the games, but I just love crossovers and I kind of want to give the games a try as well. So maybe this is a sign for me to do it. So you guys, what do you think about the potential Yakuza? Yakuza crossover coming in year 7 season 1. I hope this is real. I have a high feeling that it is because it just fits very well with the season and we are in need of another crossover. And look, if Rick and Morty can cross over into this game, then it's not very far-fetched that Yakuza can as well. That's much more grounded than Rick and Morty is, so I wouldn't take anything off the table. I think a lot of crossovers are potential. So you guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about this. Drop a like on this video if you did enjoy, dislike it if you did not, subscribe if you're a new, and I shall catch you all later. I love you all. Stay safe. Peace.